Okay guys, I'm uh, just putting up a, a post and I'm going to stick this video up with it. Um, and just very quickly, I'm going to uh, play it and see what you think of this guy. He's This is the 15th of March 2011. A couple of days are, well, it's basically after number three exploded. And uh, this guy is reporting on the safety of the radiation right by the reactor. All radiation is potentially dangerous to human health. It just depends on, on the level and the amount. So um, we're allowed in this country, for example, if you're a radiation worker, in the units that they use to have 20 millisieverts of radiation per year, and not even report it, not worry about it. Yeah. Now, um, the, the reports that came through last night were if you were right, right close to... Now, 20 millisieverts a year is for an adult, 33-year-old, fit, healthy male working in a nuclear establishment can have as much as 20 millisieverts a year before it becomes dangerous for that adult. This does not include women and children. One of the reactors, you could get up to almost well, 20, more than 20 times that dose in one hour. Right. Now, so they said if it goes up to one of the reactors, you'll get 20 times that upper emergency dose for a 33 year old, uh, not the emergency dose, but uh, uh, a normal dose. So let's see what he has else to say. That's an enormous dose, but we have to remember that could be just if you're standing right on top of the where the radiation is, and that would not be some... That's not true, because 30 children at the moment have thyroid cancer two years on, and I think they had more than 20 millisieverts per, per, per year of uh, uh, sort of radiation dose. But let's see what else he has to say. Right, so, so these, this is, uh, these are not supposed to be to scale or anything, but they give us a... So these are nominally sort of four reactors, one, two, three, four. And the report uh, about seven or eight hours ago was this reactor here, which was reactor number three, very close to it, was giving out radiation doses in the units we use of 400 millisieverts per, per hour. That's about two... Nobody was measuring at this point. <laughs> there is no measurements. All the measurements, all the equipment was had such high doses that they weren't able to measure it. Uh, there's no dose, um, nothing coming out of the plant at this point, you know, on, in the terms of uh, radiation measurements on the 15th of March. 100 times the normal radiation dose you get in a year right. in the environment. So that's, that's a big dose. And if you stood next to this, react. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to play that back. He says... 400 millisieverts per, per hour. That's about 200 times the normal radiation dose you get in a year right. in the environment. So that's, that's a big... That's not 200 uh, in the environment. Uh, the 200, uh, well, the, t the, the 200 millisievert is uh, to do with uh, nuclear workers, 33-year-olds. Dose, and if you stood next to this reactor right at that spot, for something like um, an hour or an hour and a you'd be bleeding dead bit then you would you would suffer some sort of radiation damage radiation sickness you wouldn't die yes. initially but you suffer you wouldn't die did you see the explosion on number three some sort of damage now if you just go to the reactor to the left of this or to the right of this this reactor reactor two not very far from it the radiation dose here is a factor of 10 or even more less than at this point here. So that... Where is he getting his measurements from? Tells us, and again, this is seven hours ago, the radiation levels have dropped since then, but this tells us something very important about the nature of radiation, that the further away you are from it, the less the dose is. You can imagine, basically... It's... What happens if the radiation is going towards you, like heading towards Fukushima as we speak? In the physics term is the inverse square law, but basically you can imagine the radiation dose filling out a big balloon, and the further you are... The, f the bigger the balloon is, the smaller the amount of the balloon you take up. What about the... Of course, that doesn't exactly count for uh, emissions from a corium. Those people in Yamagata in the northeast and in Tokyo, yes. because people are worried about wind movements, yes. carrying doses, and how much of a risk now is that there will be further meltdown, further well, emissions? Well, let's take the first point. I mean, the emissions 
appear to have uh, reduced at least. It's not clear exactly where the emissions, um, the latest emissions came from, but it's likely that there was a, there was a fire in some of the cooling, um, uh, in some of the cooling um, storage places, and that which has now been put out. That may have released some of this activity, which caused the, the spike that we read earlier on. That goes into the air. It's true, the wind can carry that. Depending on the direction of the wind, it'll carry it either out to sea, which is the most likely scenario, right. or potentially it could spread it down now. He couldn't even say the words inland. Spreading radiation obviously leads to the idea of great fear, but in some way, the more you spread it, the more you disperse it. So, right. It's true that there are reports of measurements following this spike of an increase in the typical radiation dose that you would have if you were a, a person in Tokyo. But again, put into the context, and again from the numbers that I've seen, um, that spike or increase in radiation dose is still something like, I don't know, a factor of five, a factor of six less than um, somebody would have if they were just living in Cornwall. Right. So it's measured. All right, slightly more hot than Cornwall. Well, it's absolutely it's miserable. Island, yeah. uh, it's sorry, in the southwest of England, well, and a lot less than if you lived in 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 uh, Tehran okay. or Afghanistan. Much, much less than you there. So, so it's measurable, absolutely measurable. As we say, people in Iran were irradiated less. Well, they were irradiated more than the people of Fukushima, according to this guy. We've been saying all along, one reason the Japanese cannot hide something like this, and the measurements are sort of honest, is it's easy to measure radiation accurately, and you don't need very much radiation to be able to measure it. Right, okay. Well, we happen to know that um, that's a load of cod swallow, because they, they got swamped by so much radiation that their uh, monitors were contaminated and were, were deemed not reliable. Uh, afterwards. Um, so uh, this is the 15th of March 2011, last updated at 10.40. Just zoom in there, show you that. It's off the BBC website, bless them. You know, uh, just, I'm zoom out a little bit so you can just uh, make sure you get all the. Have a look at that. And uh, it's just some really bad, and uh, you can see there it's. That's the number three that he would stand near and just have a slightly higher than background dose um, with his polystyrene cups. And uh, there you go. I'm, uh, I'm going to post this.